Hello and welcome to an episode of Just Because You're Wearing Pins on an Argyle Sweater Doesn't Make You Cool or a Member of No Doubt, I'm Gwen Stefani. Dandy Tucker writes, I've been dating an awesome man for two and a half years. We moved in together a year and a half ago. I'm ready to move on to the next step, but he is very hesitant. He constantly says, I just don't know if this is something I want. Do I keep waiting or do I move on? Well, Dandy, come on. You know the answer to that question. You want me to give it to you? You want me to tell you to move on? Buddy, you know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be in relationships with people that want to do the same things you do. That's what makes them fun. That if he doesn't, doesn't make him a bad guy. It just means he isn't ready. He's telling you he's not ready. Hear that, pack your things, and move on. All right, good luck with it. Caroline Bordenaro says, Greg, how often do married men claim to be widowers in order to have affairs? This happened to me recently, and I want to know if there's a support group out there for me. And that's the first letter we got from her. The very next day, we got this one. Greg, I just found out my ex-boyfriend is married. Should I tell his wife that he's cheating on her? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought she was dead. Is she dead? What, what, who the, don't, Caroline, don't go out of the house. Don't see people. What the f is wrong with you? Who's this guy with a dead wife that now he's married and then he has a girlfriend? I don't know what the f is going on. The question's too complicated. And if it's that complicated, I think you have your answer. No, no, no to all of it. And I don't know about that. Go to a support group called Assholes Anonymous. Ariel Brown queries, Greg, I'd like to meet you. Can you make my wish come true? Ariel, I wish your wish was bigger. <laughs> meet me, hell, you can come on over. Come see me do stand-up. I'll meet you after the show. And then we'll both talk about how your wishes could be bigger and you could have bigger and better goals. But meeting me, I'm flattered, Punkin. I'd like to meet you too. And many of you have written in and said, Greg, the glare on your glasses during the episodes of Ask Greg bothers me. Well, imagine how I feel having to stare straight into the face of the sun. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but we shoot this in the desert at Burning Man, and we use God's natural light. We don't use chemicals or fuels, because this show is green, baby. G-R-E-E-N. Go get them, Al Gore. I love you. We'll see you next week on Ask Greg.